It's been a long day without you, my friend. And I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. We've come a long way from where we began. Oh, I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. When I see you again. Damn, who knew? All the planes we flew, good things we've been through. That I'll be standing right here talking to you about another path. I know we love to hit the road and laugh, but something told me that it wouldn't last. Had to switch up, look at things different, see the bigger picture. Those were the days, hard work forever pays. Now I see you in a better place. See you in a better place. Ah. Uh. How can we not talk about family when family's all that we got? Everything I would do, you were standing there by my side. And now you gon' be with me for the last it's ride. It's been a long day without you, my friend. And I'll tell you all about it when I see you. What's up, man? You studying? <sighs> we're trying to, but... Uh... It's crazy. I found out that one of my friends was recently sexually assaulted. Really? Yeah, it's, uh, it's been on my mind for the last day. I, I never would have thought I would have known someone to be assaulted. You know, that guy in our class, John, he got assaulted about three weeks ago. What? Wow, I would have never guessed. That's crazy. It, it just goes to show how many people go through these situations without us even knowing. I think people... They think about these situations, but they don't know how to keep it from happening to them, you know? But how do we even stop these situations from happening? I was reading this website on my phone when I was thinking about John and had some pretty good information on him, huh? Let me see. You're so stupid. Gosh, you're pathetic. Grow up, you worthless idiot. You're so weird. No wonder you don't have any friends. Oh my god, he is so ugly. Your mom must have dropped you on your head. No way you're ever going to make it. What a geek. Stop talking to me. Honestly, it's better if you don't speak at all. Get lost. Trust me, nobody will miss you. You know, you might do us a favor if you just stopped existing. I always tell people I think in some ways this restaurant, in this restaurant, we changed the course of America. Leah Chase played a major role in the civil rights movement. Her New Orleans restaurant served as a meeting place for the NAACP. They would come here and have meetings and plan where they were going. Over a bowl of gumbo and some fried chicken. Did it all over a bowl of gumbo and some fried chicken. Even if they went to jail, if they were in New Orleans, I sent the food to jail. It was hard, but it worked. Disney's Princess and the Frog was inspired by Leah Chase, the owner of Dookie Chase Restaurant. Dookie Chase originally started as a po' boy shop in 1939. Today, it is a well-respected restaurant that serves up authentic Creole cuisine. This family-owned and operated restaurant serves many people from tourists, musicians, to even politicians. I told them about Mr. Obama putting hot sauce in my gumbo and how I didn't like it. And I told him about it, slapped him on the hand and told him, you'll put hot stuff in my gumbo. But they took that thing and they got Mama Yodi making this big pot of gumbo and she's pouring that hot sauce in that gumbo. Leah Chase's personality carried her restaurant through many hardships. There were times she traded a bowl of gumbo for a work of art which she proudly displays on her walls. Even after Hurricane Katrina tore through her beloved restaurant, she was able to rebuild with the help of family and friends. I like people, and you met all kinds of people in the restaurant business, and I love serving people. I just thought that was just great to be able to serve people nicely and to sit down. So that's what I wanted to do in this community when I came in here. For the past 77 years, Dookie Chase Restaurant has united people of all color together, enjoying comfort food and Southern hospitality. 
But the animated film on Leah Chase's life has touched a whole new generation. Well, you get that whole New Orleans vibe. If, if you ever had to work really, really hard to get where you wanted to get, I felt like I related to her just be off, based off of that. This proves that little girls' dreams can come true and all generations can use their creativity to touch a world beyond their reach. Just ask Leah Chase. Rouses and LeBlancs are uniting as one to make their mark on the North Shore. This will increase the number of Rouses locations to 54. Tim Acosta, the marketing and advertising director of Rouses, says that everyone knows each other in the grocery business. Mr. Rouse, our founder, and Mr. Paul LeBlanc, you know, they were, um, they served uh, on the same board, you know, from the same warehouse. So they were friends. Um, they were not direct competitors, but they, you know, bought groceries from the same wholesaler. So, and that was for years and years and years. So, With the same philosophy, history, and dedication to the community, it only seemed natural for the two chains to come together. Um, you really can't tell. Our ads have Rouse's and LeBlanc's logos on them right now. And... Um, uh, you know, you have a combination of some Rouse's team members and LeBlanc team members in their uniforms in the stores as well. So, As Rouse's and LeBlanc's merge together, LeBlanc's customers will not have to worry about the changes that will come ahead. Customers will have new products on shelves and a variety of fresh seafood and produce. And I've had, for instance, fresh seafood, something we do very well with in all of our stores around South Louisiana. Um, but, you know, we have a, a wonderful resource and a lot of connections with local fishermen and farmers. So we'll be bringing a lot more fresher local items into the store. Rouse's states that customers can expect better prices, larger ads, and more options compared to big box stores like Walmart and Winn-Dixie to serve the communities. As far as employees, they will continue to stay within the company and grow to bigger and better things. Reporting for North Shore News, I'm Jody Scafidi. This is where history is made. Southeastern Lions. Since 1925, they come, they grow, and we watch the big game on channel 199, Charter TV. Step one, you say we need to talk He walks, you say sit down, it's just a talk He smiles politely back at you You stare politely right on through Some sort of window to Let him 